Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the various losses associated with the microstrip transmission lines. So in the microstrip transmission lines, there are generally four different losses that are coming across when we are working without with the microstrip transmission lines. They are First one is the actually losses so there attenuation is attenuation is attenuation is attenuation is attenuation due to metal conductivity attenuation due to metal conductivity that is given as alpha C. Here alpha represents attenuation. In any waveguide terminology, alpha represents attenuation. Attenuation towards of signal, loss of signal. And the second parameter is attenuation due to attenuation due to dielectric loss. Dielectric loss tangent. Dielectric loss tangent that is represented by alpha D. Dielectric loss tangent dielectric so D here alpha D and and and, and attenuation due to <coughs> attenuation due to dielectric conductivity dielectric conductivity conductivity that is indicated by alpha g and fourth loss is attenuation due to radiation generally when a signal is being when an electromagnetic signal is considered radiation is there so attenuation due to radiation that is given as alpha r okay these are the four losses associated when a signal is being transmitted through the microstrip transmission line so there are several uh, uh, losses among them these four are having highest impact on the transmission line of these microstrips at loss tangent 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 attenuation due to dielectric conductivity and attenuation due to radiation now let us see one by one so the first one is attenuation due to metal conductivity attenuation due to metal conductivity alpha c so the metal conductivity or metal conductivity or copper loss. So metal copper loss or metal conductivity loss is modeled by is modeled by r dash component is modeled by r dash component in transmission line model in transmission line model which is series resistance per unit length which is known as series resistance series resistance per unit length okay so generally this metal conductivity loss is associated with the resistance per unit length resistance per unit length suppose if you are taking a metal a microstrip transmission line like this okay so this is the microstrip transmission line where it is having a length of 
L. Amount of what is the amount of this resistance per this length that is given as R dash component. Okay, so this R dash and the amount of this R dash determines this attenuation due to the okay. So the R dash term the term R dash is a function of is a function of the geometry of the transmission line geometry of the transmission line and the sheet resistance sheet resistance we know that it is represented by rs of the metal system of the metal system which is used okay so the term r dash, r dash is nothing but it is a function of geometry of the transmission line and the sheet resistance of the metal that we are using so the sheet resistance sheet resistance rs is equal to pi f mu naught mu r by sigma under root the sheet resistance of this rf sheet resistance we can call it as a radio frequency sheet resistance because it is we are working at radio frequencies so we can say it is a radio frequency sheet resistance that radio frequency sheet resistance is given as rf rs is equal to pi into f mu naught mu r by sigma under root okay now what is our loss our loss is attenuation due to metal conductivity so loss attenuation parameter attenuation parameter in this uh, metal conductivity is alpha c is equal to 8.686 rs divided by z naught into w decibel per meter decibel per meter see here RS is nothing but sheet resistance, RF sheet resistance and Z0 is the characteristic impedance of this microstrip transmission line and W is nothing but width. RS is in terms of ohms, the Z0 is in terms of ohms, so ohms, ohms cancel and W is in terms of meters, width is in terms of meters, that's why it is decibel per meter, remaining value is calculated in terms of decibels, so decibel meter so this entire value is having a unit of decibel meter that is the attenuation alpha c now let us see the second parameter which is the second attenuation attenuation due to attenuation due to loss tangent due to dielectric loss tangent dielectric loss tangent indicated by alpha d attenuation due to dielectric loss tangent alpha d so loss due to loss due to dielectric loss tangent that is we can represent it as alpha d and we can also write it as tangent tan delta can be very important parameter 
yet microwave frequency so this term this parameter is having highest influence uh, when we are going for higher frequencies uh, at micro frequencies so this term this term is proportional to proportional to frequency this term is proportional to frequency so higher you go the more likely the more likely it will dominate overall ROS. It will dominate overall loss. See what happens here. What, it, what the statement says to us is this loss is especially associated and especially more at higher frequencies. Okay, generally when we are going for higher frequencies transmission lines like microwave communication, definitely we should study about this dielectric loss. So this dielectric loss is having highest impact at higher frequencies. So as the loss, as the frequency increases, that frequency is proportional to this loss. As the frequency increases, the loss also increases. That means when we are going for these higher frequencies, the loss dominates the performance of the microstrip transmission line. So the attenuation here, the attenuation alpha d is equal to 27.3 epsilon effective, effective dielectric constant minus 1 relative Directly constant relative to <coughs> permittivity epsilon r into tan delta this is also having units of decibel per meter Now, coming to the third parameter that is attenuation due to <coughs> substrate conductivity. Attenuation due to substrate or dielectric conductivity. Substrate 